Hey ladies and gentlemen, so one thing that's important is when we're generating ideas or once we get into our project a little bit more is we need to identify the sub problems or the, the mini problems within our big problem. So just about any project is going to have these little mini problems and if you think about it, if the big problem is the peak of the mountain, well we have steps to get up to that peak of the mountain. And those steps are like kind of, we need to like resolve or fix or solve each sub problem to get up to that point. So I want to give you an example, walk you through a little bit. Um, you're eventually going to do this for your own project and really try and identify these different sub problems. And one thing I will say is the more complex your problem is or the product that you're making, the more sub problems you're going to have. So that means the more individual little problems you're going to have to solve in order to, be, to make your product successful. So let's look at a scenario here and then you'll see what I mean. So if we think about, here's a problem that Mr. Stephanus identified. So when he's riding his bicycle, he likes to use his GPS on his cell phone. But, and because he goes for nice long bicycle rides. So what happens is his battery eventually uh, gets low to the point that he won't be able to use GPS anymore when he's out on a long bicycle ride. So he needs a way to charge that bicycle or charge the cell phone when he's on the bicycle. So I want you to think about that. So that's the big problem. The big problem is he needs a way to recharge that cell phone when he's riding his bicycle. So now we need to break that up into smaller problems. So I want you to think about what are some of those smaller problems. One way we can identify subproblems is we can actually write them out as questions or we can just identify them. So you're going to you're going to do whatever works for you. So like one thing we could say is how is the phone going to charge? Or what's going to charge the phone? How's the phone going to charge? That is definitely a subproblem. Another problem will be so well the whatever's charging the phone, how is that going to mount to the bicycle? So now we just created two different questions. How is the phone going to be charged? And then how is what's charging the phone going to be mounted to the bicycle? So this in itself, this is a problem in itself. So we would call this a sub problem. We would generate ideas for this alone. We would want to come up with, like, let's say at least five different ideas on how to mount this thing to the bicycle. So, okay, uh, here's an idea. Velcro, glue, staples. A piece of metal that we bend and we put a bolt through it, a plastic clamp. So like, there's just all kinds of different ideas we could come up with this, and then we'll eventually choose the best one. How's the phone going to charge? That's another one. So we could come up with like let's say at least five different examples: solar energy, mechanical energy from the wheel spinning a generator. Maybe there's just an extra big battery pack on there. Maybe Mr. Stephanus with one hand is cranking. Uh, a handle crank thing and that's charging it up. I don't know, whatever. So like the point is, is that we have these different sub problems and we can come up with a whole bunch of ideas. We need to generate numerous ideas for each of these sub problems. And then what's eventually going to happen is we're going to pick and choose which ones of which, so like out of this one, we're going to choose which idea we like the best out of the, maybe those five or more out of this one. Out of this one, we're going to choose what we like the best out of the most out of those five. So here's some examples of sub problems for this bicycle problem. So we already identified, hey, we're going to need a power source. We need a way to mount that power source. We need we need like to choose where on the bicycle. These are two different problems. So we we need some sort of mount, whether it's clamp or glue or whatever. But we need to choose a spot of where we're going to mount it. These are two separate problems. Is it going to mount by the front, by the back, by the pedals? We need a way for the wires to, to travel and get to the phone so they can charge the phone. So how are we going to connect the wires or um, how are we going to mount the wires on the bicycle? And then we also need a mount for the cell phone. So this single problem, which I mean, it's a big complicated problem. We now broke that up into smaller steps. This is more manage manageable. We can now come up with ideas for each of these sub problems and then choose what's best and work our way towards solving this problem and be way more successful. So one thing that you need to do for silver and the above levels is show that you can identify the sub problems for your big problem. So do it and then show me.
Let me know if you have questions.